This is the Ernst Planck Hercules engine. And these are a little bit smaller than the uh, Cosmo. I haven't measured this one yet. I've just This is day two of restoration. We've done the color match on the actual paint, which is a good thing. Um, you really do have to be careful painting them, that's for sure, because they are varying shades of red. And uh, this trim and stuff, I might leave. I'm going to try to clean it up a bit and see how it looks, but it is missing quite a bit of paint around here as well. It doesn't have a water pump. I think it was more of an economy uh, model because it has no true smokestack or flue running up the center of the boiler. It's simply a can, uh, basically a blued steel can on top of a separate blue steel can here. And then this is a nickel plated trim here. Some of these are brass trim, I think, or a tinted or plated uh, type of uh, treatment. But this one seems to be brass uh, or nickel plate. And we'll polish it up. Maybe people polish off the nickel plate over the years. <clears throat> but I'll try to get some of this micro pitting uh, removed. I uh, won't use any abrasive, abrasive wheels because that will immediately move the nickel plate. So uh, gentle massaging with the 600 sandpaper perhaps and uh, with a lot of water, a lot of lubrication and uh, see how this comes up. I'll basically uh, polish whatever's there if it's there. <clears throat> On the flywheel, not as nice as a Cosmo, but these quarter inch shafts are very, very prone to bending. And uh, I'll be able to bend it back, I think. But it has a lot to do with this spacer here, as well as the uh, two arms that they remain uh, parallel and in form with the original design. There's the uh, Hercules logo. Not as nice, that's why I think it's a budget model. And it's because it's not as nice as the Cosmo, which actually has a riveted logo on the front. Um, I haven't had it running yet. Had some uh, sealing to do on the back here of the piston and did that. Uh, also the piston sheath was uh, upside down so it wasn't really fitting properly. Didn't look pro proper when I uh, uh, made the purchase. This was a really really good price so it's definitely a full restoration but I've cleaned it up a lot since I've actually uh, bought it so I'll put the before pictures after the uh, little video here. This is a crimp seam. I'm pretty sure it's probably sealed with solder um, but never good to add a lot of heat to these engines with a uh, butane torch because you will desolder some of the joints if you're not careful uh, using that heating it up. The uh, safety valve seems to be working fine. It doesn't have the same kind of uh, well, it does have the same pivot point so that that fits in properly. The weight is uh, pretty complete. I need to uh, basically redo that. And the whistle is missing its handle, which shouldn't be too hard to fabricate. The soldering is all original. There's no electrical solder bodging on it, so that'll be nice when it's polished up. The exhaust is missing its trumpet uh, tube, so I'm going to have to make one of those and I'll try to make it as close as I can to the original. Um, I already have a copper tube for the top and I will probably cut it down a little bit and then I will do some lathe work on it so that I can have a little bit of trim, maybe even make a bell cap for it on the lathe if I can find a piece uh, that's the right diameter. I don't want to take down a two inch piece or a one inch piece even. Well maybe a one inch piece but not a two or three inch piece of aluminum or brass. So. We'll see how that goes, and uh, we'll uh, get an update in the next few days on the uh, Hercules restoration. There you go. Ernst Planck. Probably 1910 from what I've heard from a couple of people. Maybe uh, 1920, but I think either 1910 or earlier, due to the lack of complexity in the uh, more budget-oriented style of this engine. Timing looks a little bit... Uh, questionable as well so I don't know how it's gonna run yet but that'll be a lot to fix if uh, somehow somebody screwed up the factory set timing I can't see any adjustments where that could be done so hopefully it's just uh, the way the engine runs so have a good day guys see you later